Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over some new Wet n Wild makeup releases. I am going to be reviewing all of these products here. I have the Tinted Hydrated, which is the Tinted Skin Veil. I have the Incognito Concealer. I have the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse. And I have the Big Papa Mascara. And I also have the Brow Sensitive Brow Pencil. So I think that is everything. Yep. Oh no, I have one more product. I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette. The one that I picked up is My Lucky Charm. Those are the colors there. So let's go ahead and jump into the video and you guys can see how, see me try out all these new Wet n Wild releases. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start out by doing my eyes first. Um, just because I don't want, so the palette that I'm using for my eyes is the Wet n Wild Color Icon My Lucky Charm. And these are a lot of shimmer shades and like darker shades. So I want to start out with the eyes first just in case there's any fallout. And then I'll go in with um, my foundation and the rest of my makeup. Just to let you guys know, I did prime my face and I used the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I didn't have a Wet n Wild primer, so I just went ahead and went in with this one. So let's go ahead and get started into the eyes. So I think, um, I've actually been thinking about this for a while, what kind of look I want to do with this palette. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this shade here to kind of blend into my crease. And then I want to do this green shade kind of all over my lower lid. So that's the look that I'm going to go for. Okay, so so far, the colors, they blend really nicely actually. They blend very smooth and you can see I only dip my brush in once and it has like a really good uh, color payoff on the skin. So that's a good thing. I just want to try it with a brush to see if it's better, if it works out a little bit better to put. No, it doesn't. The finger's the best. Okay, so I don't know. It's not really coming out like I think I was, like I thought it was going to come out. It's a little hard to blend. It's like a little stiff. I think I'm just going to completely forget about this kind of look. Because I don't, it's not looking like, I guess, like a, what I thought it was going to look like. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this gold shimmer shade here. And I'm just going to put that down in the middle of my lid. So this one's a little bit easier to blend and it may, it could be because of the color because that green color is just a dark shimmer shade so it's going to be hard. I feel like it's going to be hard to blend just because of the color that it is. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that and then I'm just going to go back in um, with this brush and kind of blend everything out. Make everything even. Since this palette doesn't have a color to kind of put on my upper lid, I'm just going to go into this Wet n Wild Coffee Cat palette. And I'm going to put a color from this. I'll probably use this cream color here just to put on my upper lid. The next product that I'm trying from Wet n Wild is the Brow Sensitive Brow Pencil. And the color I have this in is in medium brown. So it's got the two ends. It's got the pencil and then it's got the brush at the other end. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of brush my brows out. And then I'm not like real serious with the brows. Like I don't really like edge them out and make them perfect. I kind of just put um, color in where I'm kind of missing hair and I kind of keep it simple. Okay. 
I actually already used this pencil before and I really liked it. I thought it, um, the way my brows, it was easy, it was very um, smooth to blend and my brows looked really good after I got done doing it. And I like this medium brown color because it's not too dark. It's like the perfect brown. So I have that one done and then I haven't done that one. See, it looks really good. My hair is so gray. I um, am thinking about growing it out, but looking at it right now, I'm like, maybe I should not do that. You guys can let me know what do you think. Do it or don't do it. Because I'm really confused. I just get tired of dyeing my hair over and over again. But then it's like I really don't know if it would look good. Because it's dark here. <clears throat> but then like all over here in the front it's gray. I was thinking I could grow it out and then just do like a balage. Balage? Balage? I don't know how to say it. And make it like, like the streaks down here and kind of at the end. I have no idea. We'll see. Okay, so that's all done. Now I'm just going to use the brush. So it's really nothing fancy. It's just to kind of make my brows look a little fuller. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Uh, this hydrator, it says it has hyaluronic acid and squalene in it. It's a sheer to medium coverage. It's a tinted skin veil. The color I got this in is in medium tan. Okay, it's got really good coverage. Yes, like I almost feel like I put too much because it's, it's so, it covers so well. Okay. I may have put a lot on. So you really don't need a lot of this product at all. So it feels very moisturizing, this tinted hydrator, which I guess that makes sense. It's called a tinted hydrator. And it could be because it's got the hyaluronic acid and that squalene in it. So yeah, it definitely feels very moisturizing. This is a great product for summer now, especially if you want good coverage. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Megalast Incognito Concealer. This is an all-day full coverage concealer. The color I got the concealer in is in Medium Honey. Okay, so the concealer, it's got a nice feel to it. Feels good. Actually has like a cool feeling to it. So far, the coverage seems good as well. I feel like I picked just, I don't even know if these shades that I picked are good, but we'll see at the end. And you can always fix it, you know, you put a little bronzer or whatever you have to do. I feel like, okay, we'll see. It's not too bad. Okay, for, um, for mascara, I have the Big Papa Mascara. So I've been wanting to try this, so I can't wait to see how this is going to look. This is in Blackest Black. So it definitely gave my lashes volume and length. Okay, so it says that it gives you bigger volume, bigger lift, bigger thickness. 
It definitely does. Like when you pull out the brush, you can see that it has like the way the brush is shaped. It looks like it really just is going to make your lashes thicker. Okay, this is why. It says it's got 500 plus crimped bristles catch every single lash. It does. It has so many bristles on here. Like I've never seen that many before. Looks really good. Very like dramatic look. Okay, now moving on to the lips. I'm going to use, I didn't get a Wet n Wild lip liner. I actually didn't see any new release lip liners. I mean, I'm sure they have some that were like not released too long ago or released. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But I didn't see any that were, I guess, recently released. Well, anyways, I didn't get a lip liner, but I'm going to use my Milani nude lip liner. And then I got this Wet n Wild Cloud Pout. It's Marshmallow Lip Mousse, and the color is in, oh my god, I can't see, <laughs> Fluff Muter, Fluff Muter, I don't know, I'll have everything listed below, I, I don't know if I'm saying it right. smells like something. It smells good. I don't know what the smell is. It reminds me of. Okay, this is very pretty. I like this. Oh my god, I love this for summer now. And it looks really good with this lip liner. Okay. Oh, I like this. I'm gonna have to try more of these. It has such a nice feel. To it when you're applying it to your lips and it looks so pretty. I wonder if this is like a, okay, so it's like a mousse. I was gonna say, I'm wondering if it's like matte satin. It's just a mousse. So it's probably gonna look, it's gonna stay the same way it's looking right now. Okay. All right, so that's all the products that I got. So I'm just gonna, fix my hair up and kind and just leave I'll probably touch up the makeup a little bit like you know blend a little more because I feel like I can never blend enough just to make everything look perfect or better uh, so but this is how everything's looking so far so I'll be right back gonna kind of do my hair put a cuter shirt on and we'll talk about the products all right guys so I went ahead and you know touched up my makeup a little bit and I'm back and I'm gonna tell you guys kind of like what I thought about everything. I mean, I really liked everything. I, Wet n Wild is a really good brand. It's been a favorite brand of mine for a long time since <laughs> they've probably been out. So I don't really, but if there's something that's not good, I'm gonna definitely tell you guys if I didn't like it or whatever. But it is a first impression, so, or like, you know, I'm just trying it out for the first time, these products, so I don't really know. The only product that I did try out before um, is the brow pencil which I really like and I still like I think the brows look really good because like I said I'm not like this professional brow shape where I just kind of like to fill in my brows keep it simple fill them in and just make them look a little bit thicker a little bit fuller and kind of go with my makeup so great job on that I love the mascara the mascara was it just gave me because I'm not the type of person that wears false lashes um, I don't have anything wrong with it. I just, I could never really get it right and it just takes too long. And you know, I'm a mom and just running around with my kids and stuff. And I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's just too much for me. So I just don't wear fake lashes. But this Big Papa, I feel like it gave my lashes such a dramatic, like beautiful look. I love it. I am in love with this mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. And when I put it on, I didn't, you know how sometimes you'll put your mascara on and especially like if you're doing your lower lash, it might get under your skin. None of that happened. And it looks so good. I love it. And some mascaras I don't even use on my lower lashes because of that reason. I'll actually use a different mascara on my lower lash, but this one worked out really well where I could use it on the top lash and the lower lash. So that's what I thought about that. The tinted hydrator, it looks beautiful. Like at first when I was applying it, I wasn't really sure. The color looked a little off. I have a little sun. I was in the sun recently. And I just, I cut the color. It was more of the color, not necessarily the formula. The formula felt fine. 
it says that it has a sheer to medium coverage, but for me, I felt like it gave me plenty of coverage. Like I would even say it was full coverage to me. Like it just really, for being a tinted hydrator, it gave me really good coverage. So this is definitely a plus. I like this. And the fact that it's got the hyaluronic acid and the squal squalane in it is good. Yeah, I like this. This is good. Okay. Then the Incognito Concealer. The Incognito Concealer, when I got off camera, I put a little bit more under my eyes. And since I already had my makeup done, I went in and did it with the concealer brush, which this is a new um, brush that I just recently purchased. I posted a video on it. Um, I posted a video on this on my last video that I posted onto YouTube. And I really like this brush because what I did today is since I already had my makeup done, but I put this concealer on and I could still see that shadow from my under eye bag. I was able to apply a little bit of concealer and just go in with this brush. And I even went in with the concealer a little bit here because my oh, eye oh, shadow, my eye shadow was overlapping a little bit. But without actually getting a wipe and like taking off makeup and doing anything, this concealer brush was really great to kind of go into the spots. So the Incognito Concealer is a good concealer. It's all day full coverage. Okay. I went in with it a second time because like I said, you know, I do have under eye bags, so I have that shadow. So I went in just to cover up that shadow. But if I didn't have that shadow, one coat of this concealer would have been fine. So that's the concealer. The Marshmallow Lip Pal, oh my God, I think it's so beautiful. The color feels good, looks good. It looked really good. I paired it with my Milani Nude Lip Liner, which I can't find it, oh, it's here. I paired it with my Milani Nude Lip Liner because I didn't have a Wet n Wild Lip Liner and it came out really beautiful. So. I definitely want to get some more of these and try them out because I like the feel of it. I like the look of it. It's not like a matte. It's not a satin. It's just a beautiful, pretty color, pretty um, lipstick. <laughs> and then the last thing is the Wet n Wild Color Icon, Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette. I really, really wanted to use that green one, but it just, for whatever reason, it wasn't coming out the way I thought it was going to come out. So let me look down so you guys can see the colors of the eyeshadow. <clears throat> so I ended up switching and I just did this kind of all over and then I put this this color yeah and then I put this color in the middle and then I just went in with a different shade on the top for another palette and that was it and then I put a little bit of this too in here very tiny you can barely see it but yeah this is pretty and I think this is only three dollars so this is really great especially for traveling and things like that it's a really good deal because eyeshadow palettes are expensive. So if you're going to find one, like I thought this eye look came out beautiful. And I only used two shades. It looks really pretty. Oh, and the other thing that I ended up doing this too is I took that brown one that I put all over. I just lined my under, under my lid with that. So, uh, but yeah, so that is, oops. And I will try that green one again. I just have to practice with it off camera and then maybe I'll do a video with it on camera to show you guys. But I just didn't want to take that chance and do it and it not come out good and not look good. So that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you, oh, one last thing, blush. I didn't have a Wet n Wild blush either, so I took this e.l.f. I'm so sorry, guys. I hate to show products that, like, that are dirty. It's not dirty, but it's for my fingers. I guess it is dirty for my fingers touching it. But this is the e.l.f. Total Face Palette. And I used the this blush color here. And let me tell you, it looks a little washed out here because I have my ring light on, but this is a really pretty palette and I use this as my blush color for today's look. <clears throat> I think I'm losing my voice. I don't know what's going on. I think I need to drink more water. I was out in the sun this weekend for my kids' baseball game. My son's baseball game. I said my kids because they both play baseball, but my son's baseball game and I just need to drink more water to stay hydrated. Plus it's really good for your skin and I was screaming a lot, yelling you know, cheering them on, the kids. But anyways, so that wraps up today's video. This was all the products that I tried from Wet n Wild. I really love Wet n Wild, great brand, and I'm not surprised that I love these new products that they came out with. I was looking because I thought I forgot something. I'm not surprised that I love the products that they came, I did forget something. The eye pencil, the eyebrow pencil. I'm not surprised that I really, I supposed to said that 10 times. I'm not surprised that I really love these products because Wet n Wild is a good company. So just some other great, wonderful products that they have come out with. You guys got to try them. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Remember, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. And if you like this video, click the like 
button as well. That really helps me out. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.